Welcome back to 242 Man. I am your host Raphael Thompson and today we'll be exploring another topic in mathematics and this one deals with order of operations. Yeah, so we're looking at Bodmus, Bedmus, Bidmus, Pemdas, Pedmus. All of those show us how to deal with order of operations and mean just about the same thing. So we'll be examining all of those and see the way in which would work problems dealing with order of operations. Here we go. Podmus or Pedmus, let's see what that those two acronyms mean. Podmus comes from brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And Pedmus comes from parentheses, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. That's the order you would work any problem dealing with the order of operations. Next, we look at the rest of the acronyms, and you have BEDMUS or BIDMUS or PEMDAS. So let's examine those. Okay, BEDMUS is brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction in that order. BIDMUS is brackets, index, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and PEMDAS is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So you notice that brackets and parentheses mean just about the same thing. And exponents and index and orders, all of those are the same thing. So here we go. We have brackets or parentheses, and there you see examples of those. Then you have O or E or I for orders, exponent or index. And so that would include exponents, index form, and also roots, and then D or M for division or multiplication, M or D multiplication or division, A for addition, S for subtraction. So you can add and subtract in any order, but you must do it last. Let's begin with a typical word problem. Ray bought six peanut cakes for $2 each and paid with a $20 bill. Write a numerical expression to represent the situation. So we want to solve this, but let's just write an expression that shows us what this is. The solution. So you'd have to write 20, take away 6 times 2. 20 minus 6 times 2. Now you just can't do the subtraction, no, because of Bodmus. So once you remember one of them, remember Bodmus, you know you'd have to multiply before you subtract. Okay, so let's look at the solution to this. Yes, so you have to multiply 6 times 2, which is 12. Then you do your subtraction. So it's 20 minus 6 times 2 is equal to 20 minus 12. 12 comes from the 6 times 2. And then you get 8. So the answer would be $8. Okay, so that's how you would have to work it using Bodmus. Okay, remember for Bodmus, first you work brackets or parentheses. Next you work any exponent or index or root. Uh, next, you multiply and divide or divide and multiply. And then last, you would add and subtract or subtract and add. So you must do it in this order. Okay, let's see if you can look at a problem right here. You have 8 plus 2 times 3. And working it straight as it is, I would say 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. Wrong. That's a wrong answer. Okay, so if you look at Bodmus, you would understand that you can't work it like that in that order. So this is how you'd have to do it. It has to be 8 plus and you multiply before you add. So 2 times 3 is 6 and then 8 plus 6 is 14. And that's how you'd have to work it. So that's the correct way to do it. So you can't add and then multiply. You have to multiply and then add. Now 10 take away 6 divided by 2. So if you're looking at it, you say 10 take away 6 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Wrong. That's another wrong answer. You cannot subtract before you divide. So you have to divide before you subtract to work that. So let's look at the right way to do it. So it's 10 take away 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 take away 3 is 7. So 7 is the correct answer for that problem right there. Remember you have to do things in order depending on, on how it's written. And then you have to follow Bodmus. Follow any of those in order to work it. Let's practice. 4 plus 3 times 2. See if you can work it quickly. 4 plus 3 times 2. So do not tell me the answer is 14. That would be wrong. Okay, work it again. 4 plus 3 times 2. 
here we go the answer is 4 plus and 3 times 2 you multiply before you add 3 times 2 is 6 4 plus 6 10 that's the correct answer so you must multiply before you add so you have to remember that okay let's see if we can try another one 8 take away 6 divided by 3 work it quickly and see what you get 8 take away 6 divided by 3 see if you can work that one the answer is not 2 thirds Okay, the answer is 6, yes, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. 8 take away 2 is 6. So you have to divide before you subtract because of bodmas. Okay, so you have to divide and then you subtract. So work it in order. Okay, here we go. Hard one for you to do now. In brackets, 2 plus 3 and then plus 5 times 2. What do you do first? Look at bodmas. Brackets, of course, are parentheses. 2 plus 3 is 5, and so you have 5 plus 5 times 2. Now you have to multiply before you add, so it's 5 plus 5 times 2 is 10, 5 plus 10, and the answer is 15. Okay, so you remember you do things in order. Now, this is a hard one for you to do. Let's see if you can try this one and see what you get. 2 plus 3 squared divided by, in brackets, 5, take away 2, and then take away 3. Remember what you do first, then what you do next, then what you do next, and finally what you would do last. So let's see if you can get this correct. Work it and see what you get. 2 plus 3 squared divided by in brackets 5 take away 2 take away 3. Here it is. First thing you have to do is remove the brackets. 5 take away 2 is 3. Next, you have to work the exponent, 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. So write everything in as you proceed down. This will be a lot of steps, but that's what you have to do. Next, you have to divide before you add or subtract. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then finally, you add and subtract. So you get 5 take away 3 at the bottom is equal to 2. The final answer would give you 2, and you have to do it all in that working just to get that. Okay, here's another one for you to try. Let's see if you can get this correct. 3 plus, open bracket, 4 minus 1, close bracket, plus 5, take away 8, divided by 2 to the power of 3. Okay, let's see if you can work this one. Remember, what do you have to do first? Okay, so you have to work it in order. So as you work apart, you write the rest of it, and then put the answer in, and then continue. So let's see if you can circle what you do first circle what you would have to work first. Let's see if you can circle the right thing. Yes, you'd have to do the brackets or parentheses. So 4 take away 1. Put an answer for that. Remove the brackets and put an answer. What's 4 take away 1? 3. What do you have to do next? After you put the 3 in, you have to do the exponent. So 2 to the power 3. That's what you do next. That's 8. Put the 8 in. Now, what do you have to do next? Division. So 8 divided by 8 is 1. Put that in. Now you just have to add and subtract. So you get 3 plus 3, 6. And 6 plus 5, 11. 11 take away 1, 10. So you did it in steps and you ended up with 10 as the final answer. Now here's a quiz for you to do. Let's see if you can get four of these correct. 100%. 1. 2 plus 10 divided by 5. 2 plus 10 divided by 5. Remember, Bodmas, and work it quickly. This is a simple one for you to do. 2 plus 10 divided by 5. Got it? Number 2. 3 plus 8 divided by 4, take away 1. 3 plus 8 divided by 4, take away 1. Do it quickly, see if you can get an answer. Remember what you have to do first next and then last number three four times in bracket five take away two and add eight four times open bracket five take away two close bracket plus eight remember what you do first then what you do next and then what you do last okay so work it and see if you can get the correct answer that's number three you have one more to go 
And number four, two times five squared, take away 12 divided by three. Two times five squared, take away 12 divided by three. Let's see if you can work it and see if you can get an answer for number four. Okay, work it, let's go. And the answers are coming up. Answers number one, two times 10 divided by five is two, do 10 divided by five first, you get two. So it's two plus two, answer is four. So that one is straightforward. You have to divide before you add. Got it? Number two, three plus eight divided by four, take away one, you have to divide. Eight divided by four is two, so it's three plus two, take away one. Three plus two is five. 5 take away 1, 4, final answer. Okay, hope you got that correct. You have number 3 coming up, 4 times in bracket 5 take away 2 plus 8. Work your brackets first, 5 take away 2 is 3, so it's 4 times 3 plus 8, 4, 3 is a 12, 12 plus 8, 20. That's number 3, hope you got it correct. And we move on now to the last one, number 4, 2 times 5 squared. Minus 12 divided by 3, so work 5 to the power of 2 is 25. 2 times 25, take away 12 divided by 3. Multiply, 2 times 25 is 50. Then you subtract, what's 12 divided by 3? 4. 50 take away 4? 46. Good. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you understood. See you in the next one. That's a wrap.